Okay. Has Russia moved multiple launch missile systems across the border into Ukraine? Well, uh, Bill, I'm not able to give you the latest intelligence assessment. We have seen uh, a pretty strong track record. There's ample evidence to indicate that there have been um, a, there has been, unfortunately, a steady flow of heavy weapons uh, across the border from Russia into Ukraine and into the hands of uh, these Russian-backed separatists. Uh, we continue to be very concerned about that. Uh, we do know that it was a, um, uh, an SA-11 system that was in the hands of separatists that brought down the Malaysian airliner uh, last week. Uh, we know that Russia had been involved in training separatists to use that system, uh, and that is why uh, you know, w why the Russians are responsible for that and why the international community is now focused on uh, isolating the Putin regime uh, and getting them to change their behavior in Ukraine. There were apparently one or more systems moved close to the border earlier. <coughs> it's now something somewhere around after 10 p.m. And they thought that they might move over today. And I wondered whether you knew that. Uh, I'm not in a position to offer a specific uh, detailed intelligence assessment about today's movements of heavy weapons. Are there, is there firing across the border in either direction? Uh, we have seen in the last couple of days, according to uh, some social media reports, but also to some intelligence assessments that have been released by the in intelligence community, um, r reports that there has been firing of uh, Russian uh, heavy weapons from the Russian side of the border uh, at uh, Ukrainian military uh, uh, personnel. Uh, we have we have detected that uh, uh, that firing, and that does represent an escalation in this conflict. Uh, I know that the Pentagon and the State Department both talked about this a little bit yesterday, uh, but it only underscores the concerns that the United States and the international community uh, has about Russian behavior uh, and the need for the Putin re regime to change their strategy. So, what are you going to do about it? 